Welcome to another episode of Making It Keto, and today we're making keto pizza rolls. Man, listen, I, I ain't even about to sit here and over talk this. I'm going to just tell y'all, y'all got to try this one here. This is a must try. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for starters, this, this recipe requires you to make my pizza dough. So I'll link it up above and I'll also link it in the description box below. But you want to go ahead and get this made before you move on to any other part of this recipe. So for prep work, we're going to go ahead and uh, shred up some mozzarella. Now I know you guys, y'all probably use the pre-shredded and I try to stay away from that stuff as, as much as possible because it has a cellulose powder on it that, that stops it from sticking. And it just, the cheese doesn't melt the same. So I, I try to shred my own cheese every time I get a chance to. All right, and we're gonna make a quick pizza sauce. And guys, I just simply made this with some of the huts, uh, just tomato sauce. I poured the tomato sauce in the bowl and I added in some Italian seasons and some other seasons to make it taste like a pizza sauce. It's just that simple. All right, moving on. So now it's time to roll out dough. So all I did was guys, I put some oat fiber on my surface. And I got a rolling pin out and I started rolling. So guys, listen, I am not the best dough roller in the world. I'm telling you, you don't have to be either. So what I did, as you can see, when it got uneven, all I did was just fold it back on itself and, and did the best that I could. So we're aiming for a rectangle shape. Um, pretty much, you know, if you ever made cinnamon rolls, this would be kind of the same process. So don't be afraid to mess up. And also this dough is not as forgiving as regular wheat dough. It's it's a little, it, it wants to come back on itself. The gluten wants to relax. So just take your time and don't overwork it. But this is what you're looking for at the end. Something just like that. It don't have to be perfect, guys. All right, moving on. So guys, this part right here, I can't stress enough. You don't want to use too much pizza sauce. Or it's going to be hard to close this thing. So what I came out with was just pouring on a little bit and then just thinning it out. Um, you just want a thin layer of the pizza sauce because we're going to have sauce to dip it in anyways. So just a thin layer on like this, what you're seeing that I'm doing. And you also want to leave about a half inch on the edge right there. So when we roll it, it'll be able to seal because if you put it there, if you put sauce there, it won't be able to seal. So make sure you do that, guys. All right, guys, here's the fun part. We're going to go ahead and add in our mozzarella cheese. And uh, yeah, guys, you can use whatever cheese you want uh, as long as it's keto friendly. And I believe just about 90 percent of Mars. So I, I haven't even saw one. It hasn't been. Um, but this is what I was talking about with shredding your own cheese, guys. That cellulose dust on pre-shredded cheese, it, it ruins the experience. The cheese doesn't melt the same. It tastes different. It gives a wax taste in your mouth. Um, but if you enjoy that, by all means, use the uh, pre-shredded. But I highly encourage you. To, to shred your own cheese whatever cheese you're going to use shred it off a block that way you don't got to worry about that nasty cellulose dust that they put on it you guys wouldn't believe that's actually wood if you didn't if you didn't know that all right moving on now we have our pepperoni so guys i took the liberty of buying me a whole uh, pepperoni sauces and i just cut it into cubes because i enjoy it that way but you do not have to do that you can just go ahead and buy your regular sliced pepperoni and you can layer it on there how much you want um just like i said just be careful with it because you still got to close this thing and uh the more things you put in it uh the harder it'll be so yeah just keep that in mind all right now last thing before we roll it is we're going to add some seasoning i just pretty much did an italian pizza season on it and then we will go ahead and just roll it up guys so um here you just want to take your time guys um i normally will start on the edge like you see me doing right there and just to get it going start it on the edge and work your way to the other side and then once you got one lip going you can go ahead and follow through with the whole the rest of it so guys try to keep this as tight as possible um i know i know you can only do your best but just keep it as tight as possible and that'll stop the ingredients from coming out um, when you go to cut it or when you go to turn it to put it in the pan so just keep that in mind all 
right guys now when that was done because you can see i'm pinching it to keep it shut um you want to make sure you do that so it don't open up on you and we're just going to fold the ends in guys just how you see me doing now uh, just fold them in on both sides and just pat them closed and uh that's pretty much it we're going to go ahead and uh cut it up into uh eight rolls we should be able to get eight uh pizza rolls out of this guys you also want to go ahead and oil a cast iron pan um generously because we don't want it to stick guys so make sure you don't forget to oil your pan i used uh, avocado oil um, butter would be fine or anything else all right so we're going to go ahead and cut it and as you can see guys i'm using the half 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 method so pretty much you take a whole piece and cut it in half and then you take the second piece and cut it in half and then you take the third piece and cut it in half and you just re repeat that until you get even size so i was able to get um about eight rolls out of this and i think that's about right um the right serving for it so you should get about uh eight pizza rolls out of this guys and once you got everything cut this is what it should look like in the middle guys and you see what i mean by keeping it rolled tight keeping it tight help everything stay inside and that's what we're looking for all right guys so as you know this is going to go into a 400 degree oven preheated oven for approximately 17 to 15 minutes guys keep an eye on it it won't burn up please keep an eye on it um, because every oven cooks differently so we all know how that go so let's go ahead and get these in the oven and when they were done in the oven this is what it looked like All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. You already know the motto. We making keto easy by making everything keto. Hey guys, please subscribe to the channel if any of my content been able to help you in your keto journey. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you hate this video, hit the downs, the thumbs down button and hit me up in a comment and let me know what I can do better, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.